Am I the asshole? For refusing to hang out with my autistic brother? So I have a twin brother who is severely autistic. He isn't exactly low functioning but he's close. We both are about to finish our junior year of HS and honestly I view him as a burden to my social life. It was happening she would tell me she was getting divorced and she doesn't love him, etc. However, when they were together it was the complete opposite. We ended up growing apart but I always felt guilty about never saying anything. When I had been in a relationship someone messaged me and informed me about my boyfriend's actions and I was so thankful that I knew. I messaged my friend's husband from a fake account and he's completely devastated saying that he doesn't have anyone now and he's all alone. Now, I'm so concerned about his mental health and I feel so guilty for putting him through this and I just feel so awful. I sent the message from a fake account because I still felt some kind of weird loyalty to my friend even though I shouldn't. I probably just should have minded my business. You didn't put him through anything, she did. My two friends started dating I had introduced them. He cheated on her. I told her the morning after. You did the right thing, people have a right to know about the wrongs done to them specifically by people close to them. There are people there who would say you did the wrong thing, but trust me the one you informed will be very grateful that you informed that person's real face. You did what you should have done. He's better off without her. You did the right thing, better he finds out now than later when they have kids and divorce becomes a lot messier with custody battles. Now he can find someone who really appreciates him, and your friend can have all the one night stands she wants without hiding. Two birds, one stone. You did right to tell him because he deserved to know now you can support him as a friend. Transfer that weird loyalty to him because he deserve it not that unfaithful. Nah, you are so right, you saved him time, you saved him from being with a pos and there's nothing to regret about. I was. And I'm still so thankful for the woman that messaged me letting me know my husband was cheating on me. You did the right thing. You should have done it sooner too. He would be better off to go through the problems, recover and find a new woman, and create a new did that to him. He should have known before. I have no idea why you would feel loyalty to a despicable person like that. You did the right thing. At some point she's going to bring a little something extra home and share it with him if she hasn't already. It's always better to know so you can protect yourself. If you see him in person or hear anything from the friend maybe reach out to him and ask how he is doing and if he talks to you, just let him know you've been in the same situation and be there to help comfort him if he allows not in a romantic way, just as a friend. The only people who don't like what you did are the cheaters. I'm sure your friend's husband is in pain but it is better he knows who she really is. I did the same thing before but not anonymously and I lost the cheating friend good riddance but they're still together lol. At least you can sleep at night knowing you're a good honest person and stand firmly on your morals. I can say that you are a true friend because you do not condone what your friend does wrong. You did the right thing. You shouldn't feel any loyalty towards your friend, if she's a cheater she deserves nothing but the grave she dug herself, and he deserves the truth as a fellow human being walking through a world full of liars and immoral garbage people. Not the asshole. You didn't do anything other than shatter the illusion he's been living in. You did the right thing. No you did the right thing. What's done is done. Conventional wisdom supports your decision to tell. Your reason for using a fake account seems disingenuous. Self-preservation seems more likely and believable. Whether or not it is the right thing to have done seems a lot more complicated than conventional wisdom is willing to admit. The reason for and nature of the unfaithful behavior not necessarily sexual and the impact on the victim are both relevant to the decision. You didn't put him through anything. Her selfish decisions did that. He deserved to know. You've done a good deed, albeit you should have done it sooner. You did the right thing. Maybe you could help him as a friend? If someone is cheating like that, she isn't my friend anymore. I really can't stand that. 
Up you feel guilty because you have a conscience and probably live an honest life. You have saved your friend's ex-husband from future pain yes, he's hurting now, but the longer the cheating continued the worse it would have been. And don't even mention his finding out after children arrived. Better he's devastated now than with some sort of venereal disease with all the sleeping around she does. Better he knows than wind up paying CS for a kid that's not his in case that happens. Though I have to admit, I don't understand the loyalty to a horrible friend bit. You didn't put him through anything. She cheated, not you. The only thing wrong here is that I think you told the husband, not out of the goodness of your heart, but because you are no longer close to your friend. When you guys were close you saw multiple cheating events and said nothing. I think you did the right thing so don't feel bad. If it makes you feel any better, he would have found out eventually anyway. You're doing the guy a favor. Staying with her, would make it worse in the long run. You did the right thing. It would have come out eventually. She is the problem not use. Do not feel bad for this not for a second. No one should burden others with their lies, it's selfish and manipulative to the highest degree. While now he feels lost, you have given him a choice to leave her, which she was essentially denying him by being a scandalous lying boz. You have hopefully given this man a chance to find a truly meaningful relationship one day that's an amazing thing opus 3 it's all up to him now. It doesn't matter how he found out, he would have been devastated regardless. To all who said you did it in a sneaky way, what's worse, being told anonymously or being cheated on. Sometimes people are only upset because they're afraid of what happens after. If he is talking to you via this fake account and you do not want to get more involved then maybe just be his pen pal for now. Encourage him to seek professional help and to reach out to any friends or family he might have. If you want to be his friend in real life then be that regardless of your pos hopefully ex-friend. What is worse is finding out later that your spouse was cheating and realizing other people knew first and didn't say anything. I would have wanted you to tell me. You did the right thing. You did right. The only one putting him trough this is his wife. You honestly did the right thing. I feel so guilty for putting him through this. You didn't put him through this, though. She did. That's good you told him. You did the right thing. He would have wasted his life, with a deceitful person. Maybe even STDs. You should go to him and tell him you're there for him. He's been alone for a long time but was ignorant the entire time. Worse, he's been subsidiary by providing roof and comfort to the cheater. Now, he's free to look for a new cheater. This is why I stopped loving other humans. You could see someone every day for half of your life and they could still stab you in the back. Sadly you can't trust anyone. Guilty for what, you saved that man's time, and health. What if she came home and brought some STDS with her and give him and he doesn't deserve it, fuck that friend tbh I would make sure the husband is okay tbh as a friend, I that big mouth when it come to cheating I don't care when my friend's man who I knew as a friend before her tried to flirt with me girl I was like okay hold on I made a conference call and told her right there cause no one deserves to be treated like that you wanna be a hobby single simple. Trust me, it's better than the alternative. But I do agree that you should have told him earlier. You didn't do anything wrong. Her actions hurt him, not yours. Don't beat yourself up for what she chose to do which is hurt him. You did the right thing, the only thing I can say is you could have done it earlier. Do you think the husband knew it was you? Did your friend suspect it was you? Did you have to play dumb when she talked about it to you? You did the right thing. Uck, I've been considering the same some old friends of mine. It's such a hard spot to be in. Yes, they deserve to know. I'm glad you told them. It's a tough position because you don't know what's going on in someone's life. This is one of those depends situations. He can choose what he wants to do with that information. You did the right thing. 
Cheese complete trash the sooner he realizes this the better he will be. Disgusting she would not be my friend, 100. No this is why it's never a good idea to get involved in other people's marriages. This would have eventually come out without you having to feel the guilt. If you're worried about him, and he genuinely has no one, you can reach out. Especially if you're not friends with the STBX anymore. You did the right thing, though. Anonymous or not if my partner was sleeping with other people from behind I'd want someone to tell me. You did the right thing. Now, I'm so concerned about his mental health and I feel so guilty for putting him through this and I just feel so awful. Did you cheat on him? Did you get married build a life with him and then cheat on him? No. You did the one thing anyone can do in that situation can and should do, let the betrayed party know so they can get better. Never be on the side of cheating. Thank you for posting this. I needed this as I have a friend that is married, but has been on Bumble for a year and actively going on dates. I ended our friendship because of the dishonesty and other reasons but I felt so awful for never telling him about it. I was literally in their wedding, took road trips with them, all of it. Infidelity hurts a lot more than living in oblivion. You did the right thing. You don't need to feel bad. You didn't do this. She did. Infidelity has health implications. I knew of a woman who ended up getting really sick with undiagnosed HIV because her husband had affairs. My aunt nearly bled to death from a ruptured fallopian tube from an untreated STI her husband gave her. Cheating is abusive and it requires medical screening because someone is non-consensually being exposed to potential diseases. It's important for people to know the truth. It's the right thing to do. You did nothing wrong. Your friend was unfaithful AF. She deserves the hate.